Hi everyone, this is YML and today you are going to talk about two of the most used methods in ensemble learning, bagging and boosting. We'll see how each algorithm works and what are the similarities and the difference between the two. So let's not waste any more time and let's dig in. To start with, let's suppose that we have a dataset. What bagging does with this dataset is quite simple. You create n sub datasets of equal size by sampling with replacement from the original dataset, a technique known as bootstrapping, and train a classifier on each sub dataset. Then, at the end, we use all these models to make a prediction in an assembler classifier. So, in a nutshell, bagging consists of two steps one is bootstrapping the dataset, and two is aggregating the results, henceforth, its name, bagging. When you use boosting, on the other hand, the way you create these models changes quite a bit. So let's suppose that you have the same dataset. The first thing you do is to train a classifier on this dataset and see which samples were correctly classified by the model and which ones were incorrectly classified. Then you use this information to weight up the samples which were incorrectly classified by the model so that when you train the next model, it pays more attention to those samples and hopefully learns to correctly classify them. Then you look again at the incorrectly classified samples, weigh them up, train a new model, look at its predictions, weigh up the misclassified samples, and so on and so on until you get the desired number of models. At the end, as in the begging case, you use all these models in an ensemble to make predictions on new data. Now let's see what are the similarities and the differences between the two by first looking at how they work. So, at a high level, both methods builds an ensemble of models, but begging builds them in parallel and boosting builds them sequentially. Knowing this may help us in choosing which one to use depending on the computing resources and development time we have at our disposal. If we have a lot of computing, then due to its parallel nature, begging may be a more suitable algorithm since it may take a lot less time to train the models, while we might get no significant improvement in training for boosting due to its sequential nature. Another thing that we might consider when looking at these two ensemble learning methods is the dataset on which they train the classifiers. So both models build a separate data for each model, but they do it differently. Begging uses a subset of the original dataset that is generated by sampling with replacement, while boosting uses the same samples as in the original dataset. Also, another important distinction is that in begging the samples are unweighted, while in boosting they are weighted in regards to the predictions given by the previous classifier. How each ensemble makes the predictions is yet another important dimension to analyze. So both methods make predictions by taking the average of the models, but in begging, the classifiers are equally weighted, while in boosting, the models are weighted in the ensemble based on their training performance. As in any machine learning problem, the bias and variance of the system plays an important role in the final performance. In our case, because they are an ensemble, both begging and boosting are good at reducing the variance. However, begging has close to zero bias reduction. The reason being that, because we don't change the weighting of our data when sampling, the bias of the individual model is transferred to the ensemble. This doesn't happen in the boosting case since the samples are weighted from one model to another, but unfortunately, this makes boosting more prone to overfitting in comparison with pegging. I know that I may have less some questions unanswered in this video, and things like why do we sample with replacement in pegging, or why is boosting prone to overfitting more exactly, may have popped in your mind. Well, I've done that on purpose, mostly because you may notice a thing that this question have in common. The why, which is the main theme on this channel. So I intend to make videos about these subjects in the future. This was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did. Share with me your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe to be up to date with the new content. And until next time, I wish you a wonderful time. Bye bye.